slow motion. It's one of the coolest cinematographic elements you can do in your shot. It's used in Hollywood, it's used in Indian movies, and quite frankly, it's used by anybody who is pretty cool, including you. So how do we get the best looking slow motion using DaVinci Resolve? Let's check it out. First of all, you need to record footage at a higher FPS than 24, because that's usually what they use in high-end movies. In this case, I use the DJI Osmo Action 3, which makes great footage and even has the option to shoot at 240 FPS at 1080p, which is 10 times slower than the 24 FPS timeline, by the way. So I'm going to take my time to record some cool shots to use in DaVinci Resolve. So I've assembled the coolest shots in DaVinci Resolve and now I'll teach you how to make the smoothest slow motion. And in the end of this video, I'll even give you some pro tips on how to make the slow motion look even better. And make sure to stick around until the end. In DaVinci Resolve, we are going to click on our clip and press Ctrl R. Now we get extra options. So let's move to a part in the timeline where we want the slow motion to start. Then we'll click on the arrow right here and press add speed point. This gives us a slider to change the speed percentage. When we drag the slider, the percentage changes. If you are working in the 24 FPS timeline with footage that's 240 FPS, we can speed it up by 1000% to return the footage to normal. In this case, I'm on a 30 FPS timeline, so I'm going to set the percentage to 800% for the first part. Then after our speed point, the slow motion occurs. When we want our footage to return to normal speed again, we add a speed point and this time we'll hover our mouse over this side and when we see the double-sided arrow, we can drag it to the left to 800% once again. And now we have normal speed, slow motion, normal speed. We can do this as many times as we want. Now, the slow motion happens abruptly, which has its charms and usually looks very cool in moments of impact like this. But sometimes we want to have a little more control to make the slow motion silky smooth. So click on your clip, press right mouse button and select Retime Curve. I'm on vacation, so I brought an old laptop that still uses DaVinci Resolve 17 and by default it is set to frame. So we want to go over here and make sure to set it to speed. Since DaVinci Resolve 18, we don't have to do this useless step as it's already set to speed by default. In the Retime Curve controls, we see these dots and these are our speed points, or basically keyframes. Click on the dot and select the middle button to change it to a Bezier curve. Now we get some handles to work with. You can drag the handles to smoothen out the transition from normal footage to slow motion and now we have a much smoother transition. That is how you do slow motion in DaVinci Resolve. But I've still got four tips to make your slow motion look even cooler. If you are editing multiple clips, one trick to use is to speed up the footage of the last part of the first clip and speed up the footage of the first part of the second clip and now the transition between the clips looks more guided, smooth and professional. Another trick to make your slow motion look even cooler is to use particles in your shot. In my case it's water, but I've also used flour, grass, leaves and sand before to make the shot more impressive and thereby increase the production value with little to no effort. The next trick to make your slow motion look even cooler is to use wind. Bollywood loves to do this, as we can see in this shot of Patan, but also in other Indian movies like KGF or Pushpa. I usually just use a hair dryer because I don't have strong wind machines, but you can use whatever suits you. And for the final tip, we have to decide when to use slow motion. Hollywood often initiates the slow motion on the moment of impact, but in anime, the slow motion oftentimes happens before the impact, while the impact itself goes a lot faster. And as you can see, a lot of the work in creating cool slow motion shots is based on how you film and what you film. So if you want to know more about that, I highly recommend watching this video next.